Welcome for mathematics lesson. We are going to do a word problem which involves quadratic equations. So we are told that a positive number consists of two digits such that the product of the digits is 24. Then we are told that uh, when the digits are reversed, the number formed is greater than the original number by 18. Find the number. So remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with your friend as you're going to handle this question together. We can let the number to be xy and if the number is xy then it means x multiplied by y should give us 24 according to the first statement here. We are told when the number or when the digits are reversed <clears throat> which means now the number changes from being xy to yx. The number formed exceeds the original or is greater than the original by 18. So we can go to what we, to we, we call the total value of a number. Such that if the number is in the ones, its value is the digit multiplied by 1. But if it is in the tens position, then its value is 10 times the number or times the digit. So we're going to say the original number equals to 10x plus y because 10 because x in is in the tens and y is in ones. But now when reversed, the new number will have a total value of 10y because y takes the tens position, but x is in the ones position so after expressing the two numbers now the original and the new we can now relate them and say that this new number formed which is 10y plus x when we subtract the original 10x plus y we should get a difference of 18 so this means we can have 10y <coughs> plus x minus 10x minus 10y equals to 18 <coughs> minus 10x then minus y sorry minus y equals to 18. So now we can group like terms together whereby 10y minus y becomes 9y then x minus 10x becomes minus 9x equals to 18 this is our second equation remember the first one was this so this one now becomes the second one though in the second one we can have a simpler form <clears throat> such that y minus x is equal to instead of 18 we have 2 so now we can solve the two equations simultaneously whereby in this first case we can say from equation 1 y is equal to 24 out of x if y equals 24 out of x now we can use substitution such that in the second equation where we have y we rewrite now the second equation such that instead of y, we have 24 out of x, then minus x equals to 2. Then after this, <coughs> we can say that uh, to do away with this x, which is in the denominator, we can multiply each term with x such that this becomes 24 minus x squared equals to 2x. Then now we rearrange the equation starting with x squared and x comes to this side. We already have a plus 2x here. Then minus 24 equals to 0. <coughs> then now we solve this quadratic equation using the factorization method whereby we need a product of 1 times negative 24 which is negative 24 and a sum of 2 sum of two so the two numbers are six and negative four when we factorize 
and when we substitute 2x with 6x and negative 4x, then we factorize. We realize because the coefficient of x is 1 in this part, then x is going to be <coughs> either negative 6 or x equals to 4. And now that we are dealing with a positive number, then we are going to pick x as 4. And after picking x as 4, then we can get y as 24 out of x, according to this, which is going to be 24 over 4, which is 6. So the value of x is 4 and that of y is 2, which means the number is xy and the number will be 46. When we take 46, you'll find the two numbers making up 46 have a product of 24. And again, when we reverse the digit to, when we reverse the number to 64, you find the difference between 64 and 46 is 18, according to the information we have here.